Hey guys, welcome back to Sean McGarry Guitar. Thanks for tuning in. Here's another quick lesson for beginners. Again, these are all geared toward total beginners. Just a few little licks and tricks you can use to get you up and running. Now, this is one of my absolute favorite things to talk about, and I still teach this. I've been I've taught this thing literally to thousands of students, and um, it goes back to when I first started playing guitar. One of my best friends uh, in life, his name's Jimmy Griffin. He went on to become a, a big rock star. You can you can Google him. He probably doesn't even know that I tell this story. Um, but when we were kids, probably about 12 years old, we were down in his basement, and he said, um, play these four notes. And I, 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 he showed me this. He went. I later on went, you know, learned the term. I, it's called a box pattern. So he said, play those four notes, which I did. And he played this. He went. He started playing Freebird. And meanwhile, I'm playing those four notes, and it was like the coolest thing in the world. I was playing this little solo by literally playing those four notes. So to this day, I still teach it. So thank you, Jimmy Griffin, for that, that little lick. So we're going to take that box pattern that I learned when I was 11 or 12 years old, and we're going to play it at the fifth and seventh fret. Okay, so first finger, fifth fret, D string, 5, 7, D, 5, G, 7, G. Step one is just to kind of... Just pick around with that. Just kind of get the feel of that, okay? And then we can kind of mix it up a little bit, maybe play it backwards. And then we have what's called phrasing, and that's just how you play a group of notes. I don't have to just go one, two, three. You know, I could play any, any way I want. Now, there's a little more advanced things like hammer-ons and bends, which we haven't got to yet, but you know. slides, things like that. But let me just show you, I'm going to pull up a little jam track here, a little backing track, and show you now how those four notes, while it doesn't sound so great right now, over this nice cool jam track, it's going to sound like you know what you're doing. So you can impress your friends with this one. Check it out. box pattern and look for a link for that jam track that I just played so again just practice that and work on your phrasing and just play it over and over again and you'll come up with some things it sounds really cool thanks again for tuning in to Sean McGarry guitar and we'll see you in the next lesson